so many of you may ask me what's really the danger of going to a third party i will go in detail depth as to what is the dangers okay based on examples okay that's how i teach and that's how i give explanations is through giving examples because again when it comes to spirituality it's not just one it's a lot of things <laughs> so you really <laughs> you need to know you need to really be who you are to be able to explain all these things let's base it on one example one scenario let's say you're a divine masculine I'm going to change it a bit because we know divine masculines and divine feminine spiritual awakening and spiritual ascension are very, very different, very different. It is not the same. And I don't talk about divine masculines on my channel because divine masculines are very, very powerful spiritual beings. And that should be private. <laughs> And that's why I made a website. And that's why I asked you guys to apply, right? Uh, to be a member of a group in my website. Um, which right now it's under construction. But by the time you guys probably watch this, like, probably around March, end of March, it's already good to go. So, March 2024. If you watch this after March 2024, then it's good to go. Apply in one of the groups. You have to send me an email. Let me know who you are. Or go on the website. Submit a self-inquiry form. Fill it up. Follow the instructions. And then you apply for the group. And then I will approve it based if you are truly who you are. Okay? It's important. Because... The purpose of why I really made, and I'm, I know I'm getting off topic, but real quick. The point of me even making the website was really because I need to have a password protected category specifically for Divine Masculines and Twin Flames and Earth Angels. It is separate. There are things that one cannot know about the other. <laughs> no, no, no. Especially now, where there's so much fake things happening on YouTube and fake things going around, um, false news, and it's, it's dangerous. And as a true spiritual being, I have a huge responsibility that the heavens have entrusted to me. So I do take it very seriously. So I need to know who you really are. You need to be who you really are in order for me to entrust you. Uh, because I don't, I don't look at someone with a blind eye. I really look into you like an x-ray. <laughs> I know who you are <laughs> just by looking at you. So, with that being said, let's go back to the depth, right? For example, you're a divine masculine and your divine feminine is not awake. You haven't even met your Divine Feminine. Let's just say you you haven't even crossed paths with your, with your Divine Feminine. You're going to the grocery. You're not even interested. You're not even looking at the psychic reading store. Like, you're not even looking there. But the psychic reader himself or herself goes to you. Calls you. Says, hey. Hey, free reading. I'll give you a free reading. It's really quick. Come on. And you're like, mm, I don't know. Maybe next time. <laughs> One, I will tell you right now. That's your higher self telling you, walk away. And anyone who invites you and you don't accept the invite, that is your higher self telling you, walk away. Our body, when we are not in our full awake self, our higher self takes control of this body and protects this body because this body is a catalyst. So when you are in a vulnerable situation like that, where you're not really into spirituality, you're actually afraid of it. 
<laughs> you're very afraid of it. <laughs> so you don't, you don't even want to deal with it. You're just like, oh, I don't really want to talk about this. I don't want to deal with this. Maybe that's some voodoo things I do not want to be into. I don't want to be attracted to ghosts or anything. I don't want any paranormal things happening in my house. All these things you don't even want because you, you're afraid of it. You're so afraid of it. And you're not looking for it. But there are spiritual beings around you who's inviting you. And then you have friends who's introducing it to you. Oh, have you heard about Twin Flames? Have you heard about, you know, these... It's like a forever love kind of thing. And you only have one. And and then now you're you're into it. Now you're like curious. Now it's like, wait, what is that? Hmm. Again, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculines are very different in how they... <laughs> the stage is different, okay? So, as a Divine Masculine, of course you're curious. Out of curiosity, you start searching. You go on YouTube. You watch one tarot reading about Divine Masculines. And then you get hooked because now it's like, oh, wait, that resonates with me. Oh, oh my God, that sounds so familiar. Oh, that makes sense, because I am like that. Mm. So now all these things start adding up. So now you're hooked, right? You're hooked on it. So now the next day, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> you can't get your mind off of it. <laughs> there are spirits at play when you watch tarot readers, because again, they have deals, right? These witches, and I'm not saying all of them are witches because some of them are fake. I give props to those who are truly real witches, okay? <laughs> the ones who really make money. Because <laughs> they don't have issues. They don't have issues reading cards because they're naturally gifted. And, you know, they have a deal. They have a deal with you know who. So when they make these deals, oh, it's money. Uh, they're not going anywhere. And you think they're not going to lose for someone who's fake? Mm. It's a competition. It's always a game with witches. So, only the true ones. Only the true ones are very, they're like, I would say, <laughs> obsessed with games, okay? They love to play games. Um, so, anyway, you're hooked on it. And you see this one witch who's reading tarot tarot cards and so accurate so many followers subscribers viewers and you click on another video and another video and another video and every video seems to resonate with you okay and all of a sudden you get that whisper in your mind huh maybe i should go to a group maybe i should join a group just out of curiosity maybe i should go to that psychic person that said it's free mm. let's give the benefit of the doubt you fall into the temptation and you go to that psychic who was inviting you you were going to a store you weren't even looking at that psychic store it wasn't even in your intent it wasn't even out of your curiosity. You weren't even... It wasn't entertaining in your mind. But because of all these things happening, it's like it was leading you there. And then now you're hooked on it because every video that you've watched has resonated with you. So now, all of a sudden, your mind flips on you. Something you hear starts whispering and then says, hey, why don't you just go back? Go to that one psychic that said it's free. So you go there. Let's give benefit of the doubt. Not going benefit of the doubt. You go. Now this psychic. Oh, this psychic's really happy to see you. Very happy to see you. Because that psychic, I will tell you right now, 99% out of 100, that psychic. Mm, that psychic really, really knows who you are. There is no coincidence. Remember that. There's no such thing as coincidence. Everything is planned. And everything is written. 
The only exception of anything that's not been written and is happening is because you are in a vulnerable situation where there are others around you who are awake, spiritually awake, and they are not of God, they are not of light, and they will take advantage of the fact that you are who you truly are, yet you don't know who you truly are. So these, these witches, these psychic healers or etc. puppets of the de the devil and the demons, they're the ones who take advantage of an opportunity to play games with you, so that you will never meet your twin. You will fall for a karmic instead. Not even a soulmate. It's a karmic. Because the devil doesn't want union to happen. Hell does not want union to happen. Because they know. They know why you're here. They know the purpose of a divine masculine. Nothing is hidden with devils. Nothing is hidden with demons. I need you guys to understand that. And as an angelic being, as a true angelic being, I am very experienced in this topic. And that's why our almighty God has entrusted me and my twin to be in union. Because he knows. He knows we're very experienced in this. And we have been doing this for many lifetimes. And that's why I'm telling you guys, give credit to where's due, right? Demons are not dumb. They're not stupid, and they do have minions. And trust me, you're those tarot readers around YouTube. Who are they calling? That's one. They say, oh, it's spirits. Oh, my place is protected. Is it really? You can say that to me. Is it really, though? <laughs> Two. These psychic healers these psychic mediums i'm not saying all i'm saying there's a lot that is not of god and not of light there's a lot okay there are more more darkness in this world now than light and that's why again <laughs> we're in spiritual war right so take what spiritual war is there's no context that's been minus out of what spiritual war is being in spiritual war there's no secret to your enemy and we have known for many ages even long ago our almighty god doesn't even hide anything from the devil right from lucifer god even allows lucifer to test his disciples to test his people why because god's intent to test you to put you in situations that's challenging or to put you in a, a hardship or whatever challenge that you you can't seem to get your feet off the ground is because it's to teach you to strengthen your faith in god and it's three 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 so that's god's purpose right to teach us something that we learn something in the devil's world in lucifer's mind it's not like that it's to give you desire it's to feed you with all these desires of this world his home this world is his home so that's why nothing here is at peace, yeah? Everything's hell. I mean, it's just it just looks pretty. <laughs> That's the truth. It just looks pretty. What am I trying to say? If you were in that situation, just imagine. It's like, oh my god, I, I am a twin? Oh, so I have spiritual gifts? Oh, so... Oh my god, I had, I had a connection with somebody, and could that be my twin? Like... I'm just blown away by this. It's like hard to believe, you know? And then you start to get paranoia. You start to get paranoid. But see, who's the one who has an advantage in this game? Because you entrusted this person. And you can't debate with me and tell me you didn't. Because you actually went there. You went there. 
you chose to go there you chose to go back and you chose to say to that psychic person hey i'm interested where's that free reading <laughs> the moment you turn around and you enter in any psychic or talk to any psychic you are already making an agreement of submission i need to make that clear because you're you're already there <laughs> The devil didn't have to pull you close. The devil just had to say, hey, it's free. Come here. <laughs> and that's the problem. Like, they're really smart. S good in a smart way that is so clever because they would really entice you. They'll entice you that, oh, it's free. All this is free. Or wait, I'll give you a discount. Like, or no, no, no. Here, how about, how about, because I know you probably think this is bogus and I, I know you probably think this is not real. So I'm going to show you something, okay? Just sit down. It's only going to take a few minutes. Just sit down, take a few minutes. If you don't like it, then you can go. I'm not going to force you. Just just give me two minutes. Mm. The moment you say yes to anything of any kind, you have already given your submission to accept in receiving anything in those two minutes and trust me the devil will not waste two minutes he will use those two minutes to grab you so what is my message here if you are not spiritually awake turn around forget about this forget about your twin forget about everything else and it hurts for me to say this but it's for your own good and your higher selves know that what i'm saying right now is the truth it hurts but it's the truth i would rather you walk away and forget everything live this world as if you're blind so that you're not even into spirituality you're not you're more safer in that mentality than if you were to take one step forward halfway and not be able to finish it because you're blind and you're depending your eyes, your physical eye, you're depending on someone who you cannot even give your life to. But without realizing, you have already given them permission to hold your spiritual life. It's a game. It's a trick. And that's why I always say, when it comes to divine masculine spiritual awakening, it is very, very precise it's in god's time not in your time and for those of you divine feminines who do not understand that and you you blame them for not awakening no you blame yourself why they are not awake it's because of you and the mistakes that you have done and the mistakes that you continue to do not in the past life in every life you still haven't learned your lesson that's why that's one example imagine truly imagine it you are in that situation you're vulnerable you don't even know who you are yet the person who knows who you are is not of god works for the devil uh, and then you trust them for two minutes just think i want you guys to really connect with what i'm saying for your good it's for you not for me as a true spiritual being i really care about your well-being spiritually because again we're in spiritual war and many of you divine masculines if you want to awake if you are curious i rather you come to me that's me personally because 
as a divine feminine, I already know the questions in your mind. You don't have to ask me. I will just tell them to you. That's how I communicate with divine masculines. I tell you everything that you want to know. At the end of it all, you make the decision. Do you want to continue or not? Because at the end of that situation, at the end of that, you're the one who's responsible for you, not me. And I have done my part, my duty, to teach you, guide you, to communicate and help strengthen your higher self to continue the journey, even if you are called to continue the journey without your twin. Now, even right now, I'm already telling you, I'm telling you your options. This is one of them. The second option, walk away. Walk away. Because there's many people out there who's hunting for divine masculine. The devil is not joking. He knows what you can do. He knows the damage you can do to them. So he will do everything in his power to stop you. So I, I would rather you not even take a step forward. If it were me. I wouldn't because I don't want you to be in danger and I don't want you and your twin to suffer another generational curse because you allowed it by two minutes of your time. Whether it be two minutes, five minutes, the devil will do everything like a roaring lion. He is hunting a lot of you divine masculines. That's just one example. I hope you guys understand the power that you're dealing with when you are not spiritually awake. You shouldn't even find yourself in a third party involvement. And if ever, even if it's me and it's 344 even if it's me let's say i give the benefit of the doubt you are interested or even think of me as an option to come close to me to ask me to talk to me i'm the one telling you pray to god first ask for a sign ask for a sign because my faith in God is very strong. Very strong. And I truly believe if you are also meant for me to help, for my twin and I to assist and guide, then it will be. That's how I look at it. As a true, as a true follower of our Almighty God, I don't force anything. And I don't ask for anything to anyone of this world. It doesn't matter what kind of spiritual being you are. It doesn't matter your status or reputation or hierarchy in this world or in heaven. I don't ask you for anything. I don't ask anyone for anything. The only one I ask is God. No one else. No one else. Second is my twin. <laughs> so, anyone who I even communicate with, on, I have met on my YouTube. Those of you who are star seeds, twin flames, earth angels, is because of God. God is our mediator. God is the one who guided you to me. God is the one who guided your spirit guides to tell you 
to come to me. No, at the end of everything, it is still your decision. My only thing that I ask of you before you end this video, pray, be prayerful. Whether you are spiritually awake or not, it doesn't matter what country you're in. It doesn't matter what culture you're in. Just talk to God alone, just you and God. Have a conversation with him and make sure your intention is God in heaven. You have to say that. <laughs> you have to be specific <laughs> because there's a lot of spirits in this world who think they're gods. <laughs> You have a lot of demons here who think they're gods. No, you need to be specific. So when you pray, be specific. Have a clear intent. And that's all. That's all I ask. I hope this is clear. Um, again, having a third party involvement is very risky, is very dangerous. If your third eye is not open or you're not spiritually awake to protect yourself, to shield yourself, also to shield your twin. Because when you are vulnerable and you put yourself in that more vulnerable situation in someone's hands, <laughs> whether that be, you know, whoever and that person or that individual or that spiritual being is connected to evil spirits, then you are also putting your twin flame journey in a very, very dangerous situation. Learn from those who have made the mistake. And I've already posted those videos as Twin Flame Universe. There's many true Twin Flames who were there and now they're stuck there. Do not follow the footsteps of those that have made a mistake. Your salvation is not replaceable. Remember that. Your salvation one mistake, you can lose it. And maybe this is God's way of saying it to you. You are responsible for your own salvation. Do not say that you were not warned. Do not say that nobody told you. If you were guided to this video, it's God telling you through me. Stay away from third party. Pray to God first. Ask his approval. Ask for his guidance. And he will be the one to guide you to his children that he himself has assigned and has blessed to help you and your twin. It's more peaceful when you leave it to God and not try to control things that is out of your control. And for anyone who's in a third party and tries to play God and tells you that they can make these promises, that should already be a warning because there's no one there is no one, no one else but God who can make twin flame union, okay? And I am already an angel who's saying that to you. <laughs> Not even angels can do it. Only God can. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Be prayerful. We're really living in darker times. Um, the world is not going to get any better. It's just starting, really, really starting to get really, really bad. And by the end of this year, it's going to get really, really nasty. So be prayerful, everyone. Pray for your family and be safe. Love you all.